video is the most effective form of online communication because it uses four out of your five available senses. Your sight, your sound, your touch, you're actually, you know, clicking the mouse, <laughs> and your emotions. Thanks everybody for attending this month's meetup group, Denver YouTube Professionals. This month is how to be a video spokesperson and, and businesses today need video spokespeople to represent them because people buy from people. They don't buy from logos or um, brand names, they buy from people. The first thing you ever want to do is get rid of the people that you can't help. I don't care if you can help everybody, and they don't care if you can help everybody. So let's find the ones that are going to lean in and say, yeah, tell me more. That's what you want your video to do. You want to capture their attention so they'll go to your website, so they'll call you, so they'll email you, so they'll come to you. And for that, you need to know who you're reaching. How many of you love sitting across from somebody doing this? Sell me, I dare you. And you know what they're going to do on YouTube? They're going to go click, go away. Are you starting to get ideas of who you'll be talking to when you're actually talking to a camera? You want to be talking to a person. I'm talking to Scoop back there. Hi. Hey, what up, what up, Diane? <laughs> Because it may be a camera, but you're talking to a person. You're talking to that one person that you want to be sitting across the table from you. And that's who you're going to reach. If you don't capture them in the first 20 seconds tops, click goes that mouse. What you want to do is you want to capture them and tell them right up front the benefit. We all know. You know, people don't buy features. All cars have four wheels. They buy the cup holders. They buy the benefits. It's got a heated seat for my tushy. It's got an extra cup holder for the coffee. They buy the benefits. So you've got to let them know right up front. And people will pay if those benefits are what they want. People don't buy what they need before they buy what they want. <laughs> it's a sad, sad truth. If you can provide value, benefits, and in addition, something that they can take and grab right now and use, you've got them. Literally, if you don't say it in 15 to 20 seconds max, that's it. That's all the time you get. But now the only way you win is with sound bites. Everybody remembers the late Johnny Cochran. <laughs> Do you realize that was 19 years ago? And in the OJ trial, he took eight months of testimony and probably boxes that would fill half of this room in terms of transcripts and took it all down to something that everybody remembers 19 years ago. If the glove doesn't fit, <laughs> you must have quit. And that just shows and underscores the power of an incredible soundbite. So that if you can get it to that, bingo. You've won the game, and most people haven't even played. And literally, in this game, the best sound bites win. The whole idea of made to stick looks at why do some things come out and they fade away just as soon as the advertising campaign goes away, and other things stick forever. There was once an old country preacher who was taking on a young protege only about 20, 21 years old, and he had to give him all the kinds of insights that he had in order to make him successful there. And he said, son, I don't care what you say, but whatever you do say, make it clear, because when there's a mist in the pulpit, there'll be a fog in the pew. It's not what people hear, it's what they repeat. If you can get them to repeat what you say, you've got them. It's those kinds of things that videoing yourself will help dramatically because you'll see things from a third party viewpoint like the audience sees you and you'll notice that it's one of the best teachers out there. But some of the videos that I have seen on YouTube are garbage. They are terrible and it's only because People don't know the very fundamental basics. 
And there are several things that go, and one is your framing, your lighting, your sound. Even if you just get those three things done well, it's going to improve the kinds of perception that your video has. Doing it where you've got those harsh overhead fluorescent lights, that's where zombies are born. <laughs> so there are two different styles, I think, that you can use when you're doing a YouTube video. And one of them is looking directly into the camera so that you're talking to one person on the other side. You're talking to one person. And sometimes if that lowers the intimidation factor, that's always good. It's package, it's pitch, and it's persistence. And usually during this kind of the season, I say, the Rockies know very well about pitching and the lack of it. <laughs> <laughs> Sound bites, 15 seconds, mm -hmm. you gotta be kidding. Do you know what I do? One of the most difficult disciplines is to write short, but powerfully. So if you can do that, you'll pull the content together to make a YouTube video that will have some punch, some power, and people will remember it. All of a sudden, with a headline right off the top, you come closer to grabbing them. I've got something so important that I need to give to them that it doesn't matter if part of the room blows up or the curtains catch on fire. I've got to communicate that to them. Cookbook for sizzling sound bites. So those are the three things that we do here at Denver YouTube Professionals is we come together, we uh, provide good information, and we give you opportunities to practice. What do you do, what do you not do? What are the things that can give you an advantage? My company is Neil Brown Associates and uh, also Touch Point Video. And what we do is help make people visible in whatever way they want to be visible, especially about telling their story of their business, what they're doing, and how they can benefit others.